my dear friends, our dear family, many years ago, I stood for the moment of silence in the punishing cell of the prison, political prison in Siberia. In the cell next to me was another prisoner of Zion, Yosef Mendelevich, who also stood for the moment of silence. It was the day which we calculated has to be the Memorial Day in Israel. It was the time that we believed is the time of the siren in Israel. And we stood, each one in his own cell. We heard the siren from Jerusalem, and we felt that we stand together with all the people of Israel, thinking about those who fell, and believing that the day will come and will be there in Israel together with all our people. Whom we thought about? At that moment, I remembered three Israeli sportsmen, the first Israelis whom I ever saw in my life, who came to Moscow for students' games, and in spite of all the attempts of police to prevent them from contacting us, they met with us, they spoke, they told us about Israel, and Israel in their stories was a place full of sun, full of joy, full of hope. And few months after this, there was Yom Kippur War, and we heard that one of the sports, Aaron, fell in the battle. And that's how we felt and understood that this place is so full of joy and hope because there are people who want to live there, who want to build it, but who are ready to die for this. And then I thought about Yoni Netanyahu. I had, was really lucky that a few months before I was arrested, there was an terror operation when Israeli army sent soldiers for thousands and thousands of miles to save our hostages. And to think about Israel, as the country will send its soldiers to the end of the earth, and to think about those brave soldiers who are ready to risk their lives, but to save one Jew who is in prison, was so encouraging, was so empowering, that all those years that I was in prison, whenever I was told that I can be sentenced to death, I thought about Yoni Netanyahu. He was 29 when he fell, and I was 29 when I was arrested. If he did it, I also had to do it. And each time when I heard the engine of the airplane in Siberian heaven, I thought about Israeli airplanes. And I remembered about Entebbe. And, you are, and I knew that the day will come that Israeli airplane will come to take me out of prison. And this day came. Dear friends, now we're here in Israel on more than 200 different pro programs of Massa. You're learning, studying, working, making the world better. And as I heard from many of you, you discover that you're at home. As one of you so powerful told me once, I really feel that here I am loved, not for my views, but for being part of the family. You are part of the family. We can enjoy our life at our home because of those soldiers who fell and whose stories you'll hear in a few moments. They can continue to live only in our memories. So let us remember their names and their stories. This memory will make all of us stronger. Yezi Hram Gibare Israel Baruch. Shamar 
שנתת בי. Amen. 